Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you what I call the melting text effect in Adobe Illustrator. I'm also going to use Photoshop for a little bit, but most of this is going to be in Illustrator. It's actually a very, very simple tutorial. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to just type out your text. So for mine, it's going to be euphoria and you want to paste it twice so that you have three copies of it. So there you go. I'm going to make um, this one white. So I'm going to make two of them white and I'm going to make one of them pink. Obviously you can't see the white ones right now because the background. Um, and basically you just want to select all of it. You want to double click on the blend tool right here. So it's W, you want to go to specified steps and type in 100. Once you're done that, you want to click on each of the texts, one, two, three, and it creates this cool effect. Um, now I want to kind of rearrange the order. So I'm going to double click on the anchor point. You want to make sure you have this selected right here. So I'm going to double click and now I can move it. And essentially what I want to do is sort of line it up so that is a straight line. So there's three anchor points and you just want to adjust each of them. So there you go. It's basically straight. Um, I think the top one's a little crooked, but that should be fine. And now we're going to just put in the middle. We're going to highlight it. We're going to go to type, create outlines. And now that this is selected, I'm going to distort the bottom layers so that it sort of melts. That's the effect, right? So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to right click, press on warp tool. And we're going to adjust our brush so you can hold alt to sort of just choose the size. Now I'm just going to go toward the end here and we're going to adjust the, the bottom. So it kind of drips in a, in a, in a way it's going to look weird. And I'm going to bring it into Photoshop because um, I think Photoshop has a better liquify tool. So now that we got this, it's sort of messed up <laughs> and we're going to control copy it. We're going to go into Photoshop. We're going to paste it. And now we have this. It's a little bit messed up right here. I'm going to go to filter liquify and I'm going to sort of smoothen everything out. So we're just going to swiggle. We're going to make it this a bit smaller. So we're just make these swiggles and the more like different colors you see, the better. That means it has like more depth. So I think um, dragging out the corner of the last and first letter looks pretty cool like that. Even the letters that are longer like H, stuff like that. And you want to adjust the brush size. Um, so there's like some variety in brush sizes and like strokes and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to make it random. So now that I'm done, I'm going to press OK and it's going to adjust and you can see the little flaws on the left side right here, but it basically looks ready to go. I'm just going to cut this out. Just delete it. Actually, I'm going to go back into liquify, adjust this and adjust a bit more. Last final touches. Once I'm done, I'm going to press OK. And one thing you could do is if you want to mess it up a little bit more, but you don't want to go into the liquify tool, you can just um, sort of apply the previous steps. So there you go. And the last final thing I like to do is add a gradient map. I have one here that I really like, um, but I'm going to show you how I sort of decide. So I'm going to select a random mode. You can go through them. So if you just cycle through the blend modes, you can tell the ones that sort of apply contrast. So like overlay this one, hard light. So let's just say we choose hard light and we cycle through here. There's some really cool ones like this. Like this is pretty cool as well. I might go with this. I'm going to show you. Yeah, actually that was the blend mode I, I chose initially. But this one is a little bit more dark and it's using linear burn instead of overlay, I think. Or hard light. So you can see the difference. I think hard light might actually look better. But with hard light, the white is too bright. So we can push this a little more right. So something like that. But I think I might stick with the initial one I had. So this one. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, basically you use the blend tool in illustrator, you bring it over to 
Photoshop to do the liquefying. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.